Group-based licensing allows you to license a set of users that are part of a group. This is available for security groups, as well as Office 365 groups that have the security enable set to true. And that's regardless of if they're in the cloud or if they're synced from your on-prem environment. Here in my Office 365 tenant, I have a few Office 365 groups, and I also have a security group. First, let's see who's part of this group. So we have Mark, who's the owner, and then we have Jen and Tony, who are members. Let's have a look at how those two members are currently licensed. Click on close to close the blade and navigate to users, active users. And we can see that Jen is currently not licensed and Tony is licensed. Let's dig a bit deeper and see what Tony has. Click on the name and navigate to apps. So we can see that Tony currently has Microsoft Teams and Power Apps. Let's click on Cancel to close the blade. Now, to configure the group-based licensing, we need to go to the Azure Active Directory on your left panel. Now we are in the Azure portal. Click on Azure Active Directory, Licenses, and All Products. We can see our subscription, select it, and click on Assign. Now it's time to select the users and groups, and let's select our security group. Click on it, then select. Under Assignment Options, this is where we choose the plans or licenses to assign. And just for simplicity, I'm only going to choose Exchange Online and SharePoint Online, meaning that everything else has to be turned off. Then click on OK. We can see that now it has been configured, and we only need to click on Assign. To see if this has been assigned properly, let's click on the subscription and go to License Groups. Now the licenses have been assigned. Let's go to Licensed Users and note that Jen and Tony have been assigned some services through the security group. Let's go back to Office 365 and under Users, Active Users, let's check out Jen's licensing. Click on the name and go to Apps. And indeed, she now has Exchange and SharePoint, but let's try to add something else. We're going to add Flow and Forms. Click on Save the Changes, and note that now you get an error saying in a nutshell that you cannot modify the licenses because they are inherited from a group membership. Let's have a look at Tony. Click on Cancel to close the blade, and let's click on Tony. Click on Apps. And remember that Tony had Microsoft Teams and Power Apps. Now he has SharePoint and Exchange Online as well through the group membership. Like, let's remove Power Apps and add Flow, for instance. Click on Save the Changes. And there's no issue by doing this because Tony already had some licenses assigned to him prior to the group membership. Thank you for watching.